we're going to learn about how to understand capacity. This is lesson 8.9. Capacity is the largest amount that something can contain, that it can hold. If a car has four seats, then its capacity for people is four. If a bookshelf can hold 30 books, its capacity for books is 30. It's how much it can hold. We can compare containers to see which has a higher or lower capacity. Which do you think holds more than a coffee cup? So here we have a coffee mug and we've got a bunch of things. Do you think a sink can hold more than a coffee cup? Yeah, I think a sink can hold more than a coffee cup. Sinks are pretty big, aren't they? So that would hold more. How about a spoon? Well, a spoon doesn't hold very much, does it? If it's just a regular spoon, so this one would be a no, wouldn't it? That wouldn't hold more than a coffee cup. How about a salt shaker? Can a salt shaker hold more than a coffee cup? No, I don't think so. So salt shaker doesn't work. How about a frying pan? Could a frying pan hold more than a coffee cup? Well, if you said yes, you're right. Frying pans can hold a lot, can't they? A lot more than a coffee cup. How about an egg? When you crack an egg open, does that hold more egg than you could put in a coffee cup? No. Eggs aren't very big, are they? How about a bathtub? Could a bathtub hold more than a coffee cup? Yeah, bathtubs are pretty big, aren't they? So yeah, we can compare how much things can hold, what their capacity are. And containers that are the same size can hold the same amount. They'll have the same capacity. And the containers may look different from each other. They could be different shapes or colors, but if they're the same size, they'll have about the same capacity. So even though these two pictures don't look exactly alike, they're about the same size, so they have about the same capacity. Okay? Let's do some problem solving. A cube is one unit. All right? So that's one cube. So here we've got a bunch of cubes stacked. Well, how many cubes are here? Can you tell? Could you count? So we got to think, okay? There's two layers of cubes. There's a top layer and a bottom layer. And we can see all of the top layer right here. We can't see all of the bottom layer, can we? But there must be the same number of cubes on the bottom as the top because the bottom layer is holding the top layer up. If there wasn't anything back here, hiding behind the back here, then these wouldn't be held up, would they? So if we've got one, two, three, four, five, six cubes on the top, see this is the side of cube five and the front of cube five, see? Then we've got six cubes on the top, there must be six cubes on the bottom. And six cubes on the top layer and six cubes on the bottom layer, well, that's 12 cubes in all. Look at this stack of cubes. So here's one little cube. It's one unit. And I've got this stack of cubes. And we can't see what's back here, can we? But we can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six cubes on the top. Well, if I take this six cubes on the top off, we can see there were six cubes on the bottom holding it up. See? So there were as many on top as there were on the bottom. See? If I took some of the bottom cubes away, if I took these two bottom cubes away, then we would have four cubes. And when I tried to stack these on top again, well, what would happen? If I wanted to put six cubes here, well, that's two. But now when I try to stack cubes here, that's three, that's four. But look, I can't stack them here. So what's happening is they don't, they don't go all the way up, see? Let's see if I can make this straight. These cubes are so tiny. See? These two can be moved back here, see? 
So we have a couple missing. So if we've got a stack like this, then there must be as many on the bottom as there are on the top because something's holding the top layer up, okay? So we know when we see a block of cubes like this and we see that the top is all smooth and that there's six on the top, there must be six on the bottom, see? So remember that capacity is the largest amount that something can hold, something can contain, and if containers look a little bit different, but they're the same size, they probably hold about the same amount, okay? We're going to get into talking about cups and pints and quarts in the next video. I hope I'll see you there. Bye.